kids, welcome to Funky Facts. I'm Professor TJ. And I'm her assistant, Nelly Welly. And today we have an interesting experiment for you. But first, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. But before we start, let us tell you something about this experiment. Today, we are going to be making ping pong balls fly through the air and possibly even change their course. We are going to learn about Bernoulli's principle and how it affects the way things fly in the air. Get ready to grab your funnel, ping pong balls and straws and let's have some fun. For this experiment you will need a funnel, a ping pong ball or two and a straw. And remember kids, always have an adult present as we're doing this experiment. Safety first! All the time. So now you're ready? Yeah, ready to start? Mm -hmm. You know what this is? These are ping pong balls. So we're wow! We're going to do an experiment that's going to make it look like they're floating. Okay. Yeah. So first what I want you to do, mm -hmm. take one bendy straw. I'll take this one. Make sure it's bendy for my foot. Then take your ping pong ball, balance it slightly on top of the other end of the straw, and then blow it using blue. Let's try. This is all thanks to Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli discovered that air has a lower pressure when it's moving more quickly. In this experiment, the air below the ping pong ball is moving more quickly than the air above it, creating a change in pressure and sucking the ball back into the funnel or the straw. Pretty cool, right? And here's a secret. To blow the ping pong ball out of the funnel or above the straw, simply blow sharply and down and across the top of the funnel or straw. The ball will shoot out. But why does this work? You'll have to experiment more and figure this out and answer some of our questions at the end of the video. I hope you and Tom were able to do this experiment. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on Funky Science. Bye!